Welcome to the line drawing. I'm going to show you now how to create this beautiful uh, line drawing out of an original image. All right, before we do that, I'll show you other student work. Here is the work of some other students that have done this in my class. All right, they have done nice line drawings of different soccer players, actors, comic people, rappers, a lot of different uh, subject matter. All right, Bruce Lee martial artist anything that you want is uh, applicable but I'll tell you now you want to get something like this that has powerful eyes and is a good close-up portrait okay like her she's good so here's what I originally had started with right here and here is what I did to create her into a line drawing okay now uh, let me just get rid of everything and show you the process. You'll notice that I named all of my layers. You guys should be naming all of your layers and also saving this to your graphic design folder. All right, it's very, very important, especially before you get up to web design. So now, I'm going to delete these so you don't get confused. This is what I started with. I had a background. Well, first of all, you might not even have a background. You might just put this one layer in, and it might come in as you get a first, initially put your image in, it might be locked. No problem. You're going to unlock the image. You are then going to um, hit Control J. Control J is going to duplicate the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this image and hit Control J. And now I have just duplicated the image. I am now going to change the hue saturation of this image. So you're going to click on the adjustments inside the layer panel. And you are going to go to the hue saturation. All right. After you're in the hue saturation, you're going to see this little uh, filter layer appear up there. Lower the saturation all the way down to zero and make her black and white. Now that that is done, you are then going to click back on this image and you are going to invert it. So you're going to go to layer. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Image adjustments and you are going to invert it. And it's gonna turn into this funky looking, negative looking thing, and that's fine. The next step is to change the blend mode to color dodge, right up here. Blend mode, and you're gonna to go to color dodge. Uh, where is color dodge anyway? Right here, color dodge. And it's gonna make everything look white which is perfectly fine. So again, you come down to here and you go to color dodge. Next order of business. Even though the image looks like it's disappeared, don't worry about it. You are gonna go to uh, put a Gaussian blur on it. You're gonna go to filter, blur, and you're gonna go to Gaussian blur. This menu pops up over here, okay? You can now change the radius to anything that you would like, okay? In this case, I'll go up to like, uh, I'll go around. I think that she looks really, you got to, every image is different. So you're going to have to toy with your images a little bit to make her look like a, uh, you know, like a photograph. So this looks really good. Now you're going to play with your radius as necessary, and then you're going to hit OK. OK, now we're going to create some contrast on her. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the adjustments layer. And I'm going to go into the levels. Inside the levels menu, you are going to just adjust it and darken it a little bit so that her features come out. Okay, I'll go to right about there. That's good. You can play with it in any way that you feel. Again, every image is different. This one I feel to make it a line drawing right about there is pretty, pretty legit. Right about there. Okay, and now I have adjusted and made a a levels layer so hue saturation and levels name themselves as filters so it's fine obviously this is my inverted layer I know it's inverted you can also name this layer invert if you need to which I need which is a good look okay so after the hue saturation and after I have done the levels menu now I want to go into the adjustments panel and I want to go to brightness and contrast and I'm gonna just adjust the bright and again it named itself Oopsie, pull this down a bit, off. The brightness, I'll move it up a little bit, not too much. And I'll get some contrast on her, which is good. I'll bring down my brightness a bit. 
and you play with it as much as necessary to get her into a, a compelling looking line drawing here. All right, and that's pretty legit. I'm happy there. Okay, again, every image is going to lend itself differently to these menus, so you have to adjust them accordingly. Now that the brightness and contrast is good, I can get rid of this menu. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to merge all three of these layers into one so that I can adjust just this one layer, and here's how I do that. You're going to hold Control, Alt, Shift, and E. If you're working on a Mac, this is a little bit different, okay? So, Control, Alt, Shift, E, and I'll show you exactly where to do that. You're going to click on this hue saturation layer, and you are going to hit Control, Shift, Alt, E. And now I've merged all of my layers into this one layer, which I'm going to now edit. Now that we've duplicated, uh, well, merged all of these layers into one um, on this particular layer right in here, I'm going to call it noise. And I'm going to show you guys how to add noise to it. So you're going to go to filter, uh, noise, and you're going to add noise to this image. Okay. Now we're going to be able to look at this image in here. You can get closer to it if you need to, to certain parts of it. And what you want to do is increase the amount so you add sort of like a texture to it. Okay. And that is to um, make it look like it's, uh, it's going to give it details and grains and paper-like uh, features. Okay. So that is the noise. Like just just uh, once again with the noise, just so you know, you can get a little bit closer into other parts of the face and you're able to, like just so you know, the noise is going to be different for everybody. Like you're going to be able to get closer and you'll have maybe a higher resolution image and the more you increase the noise, the more it's going to cause like little like creases around other parts of the facial features. Okay. In this case, the noise looks pretty good right here. So I'm going to hit OK. Next order of business. We're also going to sharpen this image up and watch what this does to this image. It really does a lot for it. So this is noise and sharpen. So I'm just going to rename this layer noise and, and sharpen. Okay. In the noise and sharpen layer, I'm going to go to filter, sharpen, Smart Sharpen. I'm going to move this out of the way and watch now. We're going to play with the amounts and we're going to really make this image look really sharp. All right. And you play with the radius as well. All right. Mine happens to look good just like this. You play with these different variations and you sharpen the image. And this looks pretty good. And you're going to just hit OK. We are now going to do another merge where we're going to merge all of these layers from noise and sharpen and all the other previous filters into one layer again. Okay, that's done by Control Alt Shift E. Okay, so in this layer, I'm going to hit Shift Control Alt E. Boom, I have just made another layer merging everything. Now that we have merged all these layers into one, I'm going to rename this layer into Poster Effect. So I'm going to double click on this and call it Poster. Now in the Poster layer, I'm going to go to Filter, Filter Gallery. And in the Filter Gallery, you can get closer to your image or further away from it. You can also hit this drop menu and you could change the, uh, the views of it, all right? I'm going to call it right about here. And now I'm going to go to Poster Edges. In the Poster Edges, you play with this um, the thickness of it, okay? And you want it to look as close to a line drawing as possible. And you play with the edges, and you get it to look and resemble as much of a line drawing as humanly possible, okay? If you have a high resolution or lower resolution image, back out so you can see what you're working with. That looks really good, like a line drawing. I'm really liking that a lot. Let's play with this just a little bit more, too much, right about there. And you play with this a bit, okay? And I 
we'll get to where I'm happy. So right about a low of the that I want. So right about there. And then you just hit OK when you're happy. Next order of business. We're going to clear this layer up just a little bit. So we are now going to apply a layer mask on this layer and watch how this works. It's going to clear things up a bit. We're going to put a layer mask, a layer mask on the poster layer. On the poster mask, make sure that black is facing on your mask and you're going to click on a brush and you can get a brush that you like from general brushes and you can increase the size a little bit. All right. Now we're going to clean her up a little bit and you're going to bring all of her features or his features, whatever your image is. And you're going to bring this image to life now. And you're resharpening all of those images on the layer mask. Now, the cool thing about this is if you want to unsharpen something, like if there's an area that you don't want sharpened, you can flip this around and you can unsharpen it. And you notice how her eyes and everything gets unsharpened. But I want this to be sharpened on the mask. And now I have created this, this little segment of a line drawing, okay? As far as the line drawing is concerned, uh, this is pretty much finished, okay? Right here, this is what we started with, and this is what we wound up with. Again, you can get a little bit closer into the eyes too. See how my image is uh, low resolution, but if you uh, wanted to get close into here, and you wanted to like darken eyes and stuff, you can lower the opacity of this, and you could like play with the eyes a bit in this case. But for this particular image, it, it's uh, it's pretty good. So if I just double click the magnifying glass, there is a beautiful line drawing. And that started out from this, and she has been converted into this. Okay, make sure you save your work in the right spots. Thank you.